everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And uh, I wanted to uh, update people on um, my surgery um, and show you what I've got going on right now. Uh, I've got several things going on, but start off with uh, surgery went okay, um, going through a lot of gas pains and stuff like that with the, um, uh, all that had went on. They had my stomach empty for so long that, um, I got to get my stomach reused to food, so, uh, started on solids yesterday and I'm telling you, I'm glad it was yesterday because I couldn't have eaten another bowl of soup you paid me to. Uh, you eat something long enough, man, you get tired of it. Um, took me a long time to actually eat a peanut butter sandwich because my mom had us living in a car one time for about two weeks and that's all we ate was peanut butter sandwiches. So, uh, I guess if you eat <laughs> something long enough, you get sick of it. But anyway, um, that all turned out okay, and I want to thank everybody that uh, uh, had the kind words. Um, you don't know how far that went with me. Uh, it showed me that people cared, and um, I'd just like to uh, say thank you to everybody. Uh, thank you to Dave for the uh, Get Well Soon gift. And... Um, I guess we'll go ahead and get to the next pro or to the project at hand right now. I'm just trying to take it easy today, so I thought, well, I need to set it soft jaw for the four jaw chuck, and I think that the soft jaws that I make for the four jaw chuck may or may not uh, fit the three jaw chuck. May have to make a set for them too, but. Um, I've already started on it, but uh, I got to the point where, excuse me, I got to the point where I can go ahead and stop what I was doing so I can kind of show you step by step, or step by step, my version of the soft jaws. Uh, they're not the best thing in the world, but uh, I think they'll work just fine. I, I use, I'm using uh, aluminum flashing. Um, this stuff right here, it's white on one side and it does have a, um, a grain in it on one side, like a, kind of looks like a wood grain, as you can see. And then on the other side, it's nice and smooth and shiny. So I think that this is the side I'm going to use for the jaws or the, the workpiece side. So let's get to it. Alright. What I've gotten so far is I made this piece here to fit right on it and I was just going to do to here but I kind of had a um, I kind of agree with Chris B B257 that I'd like to have all of my jaw uh, you know the, the whole length of the jaw covered with this piece right here so uh, basically what I started off with was a piece like this right here and then I cut it like this right here and um, I mean you can see how thin it is it's, it's not the heaviest stuff in the world but I don't think you need anything heavy and when you go to tighten down the jaw, 
Yes, this part here will flex a little bit right there, but that's all right. We're not worried about that part. If it flexes, this is still in contact with the piece, and this is the only part that we need to concentrate on. So, basically what I've done was stuck them down in there, and I've got a piece of um, round aluminum stock that I used for several things, that, and I just made a socket down in there that will allow this to come up to where it's almost level with the jaws. It don't have to be completely level, we just need it tight enough to where once we tighten these two jaws, because we can only do two at a time, because I can't put four of those in at the same time. So, uh, we've got this one made, and then we'll tighten that one up. And all we need is just snug. We don't have to tighten it up too tight. Man, it's getting a little warm in here. Been a little cold here lately in North Carolina. And, um, of course, winters, I'm still not used to winters around here. I'm used to winters in West Virginia. Winters in West Virginia, just a little bit more, um, uh, aggressive. <laughs> so, what we're going to do here is we put that in there, and I centered this piece here on the jaw and just laid it in there with the white side grain side towards the jaw itself and now we've got that one bent basically what I'll do is I'll come in here with a pencil and draw a line right across that second jaw or flat spot and do the same thing on both sides all right then we're going to draw a line right here on the side at the end now we're not going to cut that we're just going to use that as an indication as to where we're going to um, stop our cut for this cut right here and um, then once we've got the bend around on it, then we can go ahead and cut this excess off. So, now we're going to take that one out. And then, as you can see, we've got our line right there where the jaw is, where our bend around is. So, basically what we're going to do is cut this piece and we're just going to judge it if I got you in here correct we're just going to judge where that is and we're going to come up just a little higher just in case my pencil was level with the uh, the jaw and then we're just going to cut that all the way up to the line. But you want to be careful. You don't want to go too far past the line. You want it to where when you go to do this cut right here. Make sure I'm doing right here. Yeah. We're going to take and cut this right on up to that line. Or the, the point. Right, we, want, we don't want to go to where it's starting to cut into the other piece. When it starts twisting like that, you've got enough material to where all you got to do is just break it off. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And we're just judging it. I mean, I could get technical and go and draw a square line, but I don't think it needs to be that technical. And then we'll come over and we'll cut this piece off. And you see how that's how starting to turn? So that one went, I did perfect on that one. Alright, so now that we've got that, 
Now we're going to take our needle nose and we're going to go, actually that's a bad needle nose. Let me get another pair of needle nose. What we're going to do is we're going to take the needle nose and put it to where it's right with that line. Just like so. And then we're just going to kind of bend that around a little bit so that it'll fit tight on the jaw. And the same thing with this one. And then we're just going to take and bend just like that so it's a little bit past square. That way it fits tight on the uh, jaw. Now remember, when you tighten it up on your workpiece, it's going to flex out anyway. So this, we're just going to go just a little bit past, just like that. Alright, shaking today for some reason. And then we're going to set that down in there, just like so. And then, what we're going to do is, as you can see, we've got this here cut starting from this first circle in the jaw. And then it'll come up to here. So we're going to put a mark there, and then we're going to put a mark right at the beginning of our first circle. And that's where we're going to cut them. And we're going to do that on both sides. All right, now we'll go ahead and pull that back off. And if you can just imagine a line right here going straight down to that one. And the only reason I've done that was just to make it look a little neater. Uh, it, mean, it means no never mind. And then we're going to take our snips and we're going to cut that. Clear up to that other cut spot. And then we're going to twist it off. Now, after I'm done with this, I'll take my file and file the corners and round them and make them so they're not sharp. Alright, and then we end up with that. All the way around. Alright, then we'll take and put that down in there, and as you can see, it fits pretty tight, but it's not tight enough for me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of center that, and then I'm going to tighten it up on the work, and it, watch it, it'll spread, because the inside of this jaw is just a little round, so it's going to spread on you, and that one made a liar out of me. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to take, because we don't need all that much, we just need a little bit, just enough to hang on the jaw. So we're going to cut that one off, just like so, and then we're going to take, and the reason I'm doing this part here is I'm going to hold that tight and then I'm just going to kind of hit that a little bit and that will kind of relax the uh, metal in the bend right where it bends. Alright, then we'll just take and bend this around and we're going to do the same thing here. Alright, now because of the uh, angle of the shears um, we need to take it off for the other side. So now we're going to take and cut this off right about, you want to add a little bit just in case you can, uh, you need it uh, because the bend will take up some of the metal. So 
now we'll stick that back down on there and then we're going to bend this around just like we did the other one all right and we're going to tap it all right now they're a little tight but they'll loosen up eventually now and there's our next one now see what i meant by the extra we got a little more on this side than we got on this side that's no big deal we can just judge it a little bit and this is only for neatness now we've got it even now because of everywhere you cut you got some sharp edges so basically all we're going to do is take a file and just file that a little bit and that'll make it look a whole lot neater I could probably use a Dremel tool or a uh, file or it don't matter what you use as long as I mean, you probably even use a piece of sandpaper. And we want to go around and get all them sharp edges and just bring it down to where it's nice and smooth so that when you run your finger across it, it don't cut you. And you can go around all these corners and just kind of bring them down a little bit. Same thing with these corners. And there we have our second set of jaws or a soft jaw and I like it to fit a little snug and there we have our second one now I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of these and um, since all these are the same I don't have to loosen these side this side I'll just Take these up. Well, I gotta loosen it up. We got one. And we got two. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and take the next two, and I hope I got you all in the camera, and we're going to set them in there, same thing with this one. I got company, so um, I'll go ahead and start this over. All right, sorry about that. I had some company. My landlord was here. Um, I don't know why everybody comes to me when they have problems. Um, seems like every time something goes on in the trailer park, everybody wants my opinion. I really don't want to give it. Um, like just stay to myself. I don't like getting in anybody else's business. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I went ahead and finished these off because the uh, what I had already showed you was no different than what I was going to do after that. So there was no point in showing. Uh, so what I've got is all four of my jaw, uh, four jaw chuck soft jaws, and. Um, Basically, anytime I need to use them, I just slide them on there. 
and they fit a little snug, which is okay. That's what I'd like like for them to fit. And they're not going to come off. They go the whole distance of the uh, jaw. Uh, and we'll put them all on there. And we have soft jaws. So there you have it. Bison built soft jaws out of um, this uh, aluminum flashing that actually comes in a roll. Um, you can use that. And even if it's got the grain on it, you always have a smooth side anyway. Uh, and the good thing about it is, if I damage one, or whatever, I can just make a new one. Uh, basically all I'd have to do would be to flatten this back out to where it's flat, lay it down on that, draw my next piece out, cut it out, bend it around, be done with it. So, there we have it. Your bison built. Four jaw chuck soft jaws. And um, I guess that will end this uh, session or project. This is one project down I've been wanting to do. And um, we got a few more projects I want to do. And uh, we'll uh, continue to try to make new videos. It's a little hard to make videos when you're supposed to be recuperating. But I, I just couldn't sit in the house no longer and um, do nothing. You know, got a blood test back the other day and the doctor called me up and says, uh, we found a problem in your blood. You got an overactive uh, thyroid gland. Well, if it wasn't for them saying that it could kill me, I wouldn't have worried too much about it because I, I, I'm not one of them people that I, I'd rather be dead than to be a big person. Uh, no, I'm not putting down big people. Big people are just as good as anybody else, but you know, it's just my preference. I don't like the idea of being a big person, so... Uh, I'm fine with being over, having an overactive um, uh, thyroid gland. It's better than unactive or uh, slow. Anyway, um, you guys have a good one. Later.